But, uh, I accidentally skipped a, a part of this question, so I just want to come back and, and make sure that we uh, get to it. It's on uh, kinetic energy and simple harmonic motion. We're still talking about the hydrogen atom uh, oscillating up and down and up and down as a spring oscillator. And we found the amplitude of oscillation as well as the frequency of oscillation. The part that I skipped was to find the maximum kinetic energy of the hydrogen atom. Show that it's 6.2 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. Uh, for this, we need to use our formula for kinetic energy in simple harmonic motion. That's 1 half m omega squared x naught squared. x naught refers to the amplitude, the maximum displacement of the oscillation. Uh, m is the mass of the oscillator. And omega is the uh, angular frequency. We know the mass and we know the amplitude. We don't know the angular frequency, but the angular frequency is very closely related to the regular frequency. So we can write this as m times 2 pi f squared. So 2 pi f is the angular frequency, f being the regular frequency, times x naught squared. Uh, plugging in all the things we know, the mass is 1.7 times 10 to the negative 27. That's the mass of the hydrogen atom. And that's given to us. Um, it's also roughly the mass of a proton, so you could use that as well. Times 2 pi times the frequency, which we found in part 2. All of that squared times the amplitude squared. And you plug that into your calculator, you should get 6.2 times 10 to the negative 18 joules.